and even though it's oh. really extremely horrible i think we should do a whole episode just on that literature. oh my god we need to do a I think episode on these yeah. awesome books yeah oh yeah we should that's a great idea understanding All of the shit books that have come out that we should just yeah. try introduce this one yes uh, uh, unlikely and un an unlikely audience is our next book uh, by William Laffey humans and it actually uh, has a subtitle Al Jazeera's struggle in America and that has to do I think um, not with Al Jazeera or at least or I know not in a uh, not with Al Jazeera uh, Central in Doha, but in the uh, experiment that actually ultimately failed, which is Al Jazeera America. And uh, it is a, uh, a book that is long in the making, uh, because I know, and uh, I know the author, and it's published by Oxford University Press, and it's pretty uh, uh, decent in size. Uh, it's not on the longer uh, side. Uh, it has six chapters, The Obstacles to Al Jazeera in America, Media Ports of Entry, In the Beltway Before the Spring, The Rise of Al Jazeera English Except in America. This refers to Al Jazeera English that uh, is uh, somewhat centered in, 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 in uh, London, but also is, is global. Uh, Al Jazeera English's moment in the media politics capital washington dc and then al jazeera america the defunct new york city broadcast channel al jazeera plus al jazeera's digital startup in san francisco which is actually a very uh, successful uh, offshoot that kind of is less restrained uh, by a lot of the rules and regulations of al jazeera central uh, and is actually a, an outfit that includes people who have been part of the arab studies institute um, and here i would like to give a shout out to dina Takluri, who was my student uh, there's a really good uh, uh, set of footnotes in this uh, book that uh, that are very valuable, and uh, it's another uh, book on Al Jazeera. It uh, adds to the uh, collection of uh, really good uh, literature on Al Jazeera by a number of people, including Mark Lynch and others. So, given that uh, Abdullah uh, lives in Doha. Uh, he is. Uh, his, his lips are seem to be a, a bit too tight at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think as far as this book is concerned, it's a story that all of us are familiar with to a certain degree, right? We're, we've all been following the kind of the rise and, and very dramatic fall and collapse of the Al Jazeera America project, uh, the loss of billions of dollars, of course, in terms of all of the expended resources. And I think just as, as kind of uh, media consumers with a particular focus on the Middle East, all of us were probably following that a little bit more closely. But I think this book probably presents the most comprehensive look at that entire enterprise and what it represented and, and specifically the politics behind it, I think, is, is really fascinating because, as we know, Al Jazeera was expanding quite successfully within the US market as the Al Jazeera English kind of brand name and then of course it totally overhauled that that project and brought in something uh, fundamentally new and different and in many ways more in keeping with the kind of US media model and so I think this this study kind of brings out a lot of those issues in a way that that hopefully will be uh, informative and and it also is interesting to note that uh, for the past 12 years uh, sorry actually not 12 years, for the past 22 years, is it, since Al Jazeera started in 1996? Yeah. Uh, Al Jazeera has been not just another, uh, you know, television network. It's been a phenomenon, and, and it's important to place that development, the ups and downs, and how a lot of the developments are connected to U.S. Qatar relations as well as Qatar Saudi Arabia relations right. when for instance in the past year year and a half when tensions grew between Saudi Arabia and Qatar you could see the coverage actually for instance on Syria change uh, and it's it's uh, it's interesting to um, look at uh, these prospects in the future will Jazeera go back to being the uh, the station that everyone used to actually 
watch for the most cutting edge reporting before 2008, right. in my view, before 2000, even before the Arab uprisings. Mm -hmm. In all cases, this is a fantastic book and is definitely and should definitely be a part of anyone teaching uh, media. Uh, Nadia, any uh, comments? My son says that it's a very good thing. Your son? Can you see? Can you hear? Your son? I said your son? My, my son says that it's a good book for teaching. <laughs> uh, he loves it. He's only five. But he loves it. You know, everyone's going to believe that you have a son. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to just say yeah. that all, that all four people watching, all four people watching, believe it. Sure, your, sure your, you. your mom, my uh, mom. Three of them. I was just, <laughs> damn it, you're interrupting me. Uh, I was just going to say that we, we did a Newton with William Newlands uh, on this book. Uh, well, uh, so Newton is new texts out now. Uh, new texts out now. It is a interview standard uh, questionnaire interview that we conduct with authors of new uh, scholarly books, um, mostly scholarly books, and uh, it's a it's a wonderful forum that allows them to both uh, sort of synthesize uh, and summarize the main findings and arguments of their books while also allowing them space to talk about how they got to that research, um, and other aspects, uh, that are often not covered in sort of, you know, perhaps more conventional, um, formats. So, so William Ewens did a Newton on this book, um, some months ago when it first came out and I encourage everyone to take a look at it. And you can find that on Newton, uh, which yeah. is on Jadalia, it's uh, one of the menu items. Is uh, there, are we going to do the URL? No? Uh, <laughs> it's on the menu along with the French fries. Should we put it on the top? Uh, you do the uh, Lionel Messi when he scores a goal. What, what, what's he doing when he does this? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll... God. Dios. Okay. <laughs> My son loves him. <laughs> uh, would you like to say something about the praise? <laughs> So, on the back of this, Nadia Na is still no. finishing her lap. <laughs> okay, I'm done. She's done. All right, so this book <laughs> has gotten a couple of blurbs, uh, primarily from um, professors of media and communication. The first is Terry Flew uh, from Queensland University of Technology, and the second coming from uh, Daya Thusu, uh, who's a professor, professor of international communication at the University of Westminster in uh, London. So um, clearly people who know the literature and who are part of the field um, are, are giving their praise to this, this particular book. Awesome. Yeah. We are, let's have a sip. We don't have anything in these cups. There's nothing. Okay. Okay. We um, now will move to another volume.